Hello and welcome to the session on permutation and combination. This is brought to you by Handa Ka Fanda. Till now, we have been talking about arranging things on various positions. Let's talk about the arrangement. Suppose you have three keys and three locks. In how many ways can you put three keys in three locks? You can do that in three factorial or six ways. One of those ways will be the correct way. That is, key one goes in lock one, key two goes in lock two, and key three goes in lock three. The other five are wrong ways and you won't be able to open all three locks. However, in some of these ways, all the keys are in the wrong locks. That is what we are trying to figure out. Say, if key 1 goes in L1, key 2 is wrong and key 3 is wrong in this particular fashion. It is possible that K1 is in L3, K3 is in L1 and K2 is in L2. That means only K2 is correct. It is also possible that only K3 is correct. In these three cases, you can see that at least one of them is correct. My question is, in how many ways is it possible that all of them are in wrong positions? That would be given by these two ways. Let's see how. K1 is in L2, K2 is in L3 and K3 is in log 1. Or K1 is in log 3, K2 is in log 1 and K3 is in log 2. In these two cases, all the keys are in the wrong blocks. And this is what dearrangement is all about. When there are three things, three keys and three locks, you can dearrange them in two ways. But if there are n things, then the formula for dearrangement of n is given by n factorial. It will be multiplied with 1 by 0 factorial minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial. You will alternate plus minus plus minus till you reach the last term which will be 1 by n factorial. Suppose instead of n you had 3 here. What would have you got? It would have been 3 factorial, 1 by 0 factorial, minus 1 by 1 factorial, plus 1 by 2 factorial, minus 1 by 3 factorial. 1 by 0 factorial is 1, 1 by 1 factorial is 1, that will get cancelled out. This would have been 6 times, 1 by 2 factorial is half, 1 by 3 factorial is 1 by 6, half minus 1 by 6 would have given you one third or you would have got the answer as two ways and which are those two ways these two that i had just made let us take an example suppose i have eight keys in eight locks in how many ways can i put the eight keys in the eight locks that is simply eight factorial in how many ways can i do it such that all of them are correct that is possible in only one way when k1 goes in l1 k2 goes in l2 k3 goes in l3 and so on in how many ways will seven of them be correct that is possible in zero ways think about it if seven of them are correct then what about the wrong one suppose k1 k2 k3 k4 k5 k6 and k7 are correct but k8 is wrong but there is only one lock position left so this is not possible how about Six of them are correct and two are wrong. That is possible. In how many ways can you first select the six keys which are correct? I can do that in 8C, six ways. Then, in how many ways can I put the right keys in the right locks? The six right keys or the six correct keys in the six locks? I can do that in only one way since it has to be put correctly. Now, I am left with, let's say, two keys which are wrong, K5 and K8. So L5 and L8 are empty. In how many ways can I put them such that both of them are wrong? Only one way. K5 goes in L8 and K8 goes in log 5. So my total number of ways will be 8C6 into 1 into 1. 8C6 for the selection of the 6 correct 1 for arranging the 6 correct keys on 6 correct positions. And this is 1 for arranging the 2 keys on 2 wrong positions. How about 5 correct? 5 correct, first of all I select the 5 keys which are correct. Then I put them in the right position in 1. Now I have 3 keys. Suppose K1, K2 and K3. And I have 3 locks left. L1. In how many ways can I put them such that all of them are wrong? This was the example that we did just now. And we had found out that it could be done in 2 ways. This 2 has come 
from rearrangement of three things as we saw in the previous example. How about four correct? I first select the four correct keys, HC four ways, then I arrange them in one way and then I will rearrange the four keys which are left with me on four positions. That is the arrangement of four. How much will that come out as? Four factorial? I can very easily neglect 1 by 0 factorial and 1 by 1 factorial for all my future calculations because 1 by 0 factorial is 1 and 1 by 1 factorial is also 1. So this becomes 24 into half minus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 24 which is 12 minus 4 plus 1 or 9 ways. That means my total number of ways in which 4 keys are correct is HC4 into 1 into 9. This 9 comes from the arrangement of 4 keys on 4 positions. That wraps up our long session on permutation and combination. Please stay tuned at Handa Kafanda to watch other videos on other chapters. Thank you.